What's up everyone, Rifex here. Today I'm gonna unbox and review the uh, the Tron uh, Wiimote from PDP. On the front of the box, it's a collector's edition, edition uh, PDP. Those are the makers of this remote. And then this is of course, Disney's Tron uh, wire controller for Wii. Uh, I think they uh, made an error there because it's not wired, it is wireless. All their other Tron controllers they made for like the Xbox and I believe the, the PlayStation 3, those are wired, but not this one. This one is wireless. And at the side of the box, we see Disney's Tron, Collector's Edition again. Then at the back, the official Collector's Edition Tron controller for Wii. Features sophisticated design, precision, controller parts, performance, enhancing contours, rubber grips with a soft touch finish, uh, pre perforated uh, details and light up accents be the ultimate disc warrior and tell the the competition to go home game over and then you have some text in French basically the same thing that says up there you see a picture of the controller lit up and then Disney's Tron here's the side collector's edition wireless controller for Wii so yeah that front here that says wired controller yeah it's a text error and then Disney's Tron. Here we have, look at the top, Disney's Tron. And down here we have some information made in China, 2001 performance design products, blah, blah, blah. And then when you open it up, you have a little magnet. It opens up just like this. Here we have a this window display of the, the Wiimote. Then D Disney's Tron. And here we have like an intro with the uh, holographic, well not really a holographic I guess. Seen one of those in a long time. It's like a one of those tags you see on the those caps. But yeah, this is what it says. I'll let you read that. So yeah. Let's unbox it or take it out. Just pull this up from the side. And pull this up, put this aside, and this is what's under it. Get a strap. It's an okay strap. It doesn't have that that lock that you see on the other straps. Here I'll show give you a comparison. See how it has the, the locks on the newer straps and the newer straps are a lot longer for some people that have just huge wrists and stuff. But yeah it has kind of like that Tron look to it. Very nice. And here we have instructions, basically how to, to work it, replace the batteries and stuff. Actually, this is the French side. Whoops. And then here's the English side. So yeah, it just basically tells you how to set it up and use it and stuff. I'll put this there. Get to here, and then here's the remote. Take it out of there. And we'll look at the back first. So PL7686 Collector's Edition Wireless 
controller up there and then this is number 649 out of 20,000 so yeah there's a lot of these out there so much for collector's edition register for your PDP award <laughs> oh well I think that's probably expired and then yeah this is what the controller looks like really nice controller yeah the four LEDs uh, that show which player you are down there and number one and two buttons your minus and plus and home buttons your A button your D-pad your power of course your B back here and then right here on the, on the back right here all here it's kind of like a rubber where you could grip it real nice and right here you can kind of see like almost like a honeycomb type well it's not really honeycomb but it's a little different but yeah this is kind of grippy as well kind of kind of reminds me of the bottom of a shoe or something or maybe the side of a shoe of course not if it was the bottom it would be a lot more textured and deep than this but anyways and then this is kind of if you felt a regular Wii, uh, black Wiimote it kind of has that gloss this is basically the same thing all here of course when you go of course when you go to this sex this white section which I'll show you what it does in a minute uh, that's kind of plastic plasticky feel right there and then the D button it it doesn't have the matte finish like the the regular Wiimotes have but it, it kept that glossy finish like the wrist like this part of the Wiimote has and then the buttons they're about the same like the black Wiimote the black buttons so yeah that's pretty much the same and then you have a speaker right there then down here you have a connector uh, just to remind you this does not have a Wii Motion Plus in it I don't know why they didn't add that but it just doesn't then I'll show you with the strap what it looks like really nice and then we'll take this part off and right here we have your sync button and then this button basically turns your lights on and off so let me put some batteries in here so yeah I have my Wiimote Wii U in the back on there see how it lights up really cool light up feature looks beautiful it kind of comes out as a white in the uh, video here but it really is like a dark blue in real life it's like really dark blue really nice and then if you don't want the lights on or you want to keep power conserve power conserve it you just turn it off with that button and then all you have is your player one light or player three or whatever player you are with this remote so yeah the only problem is say if you have one of these battery packs is that of course you you're not going to be able to get to that switch if you have like one of these battery packs or maybe another off-brand uh, battery pack but as you can see this one since it has uses double A's instead of triple A's like most of these uh, rechargeable battery packs this one does work and this is the official Wii, Wii U uh, remote 
uh, battery pack. So this one does in fact work. Oh, I forgot to turn the lights on. And of course, when you have uh, the lights off, see, it'll, it'll stay off. So make sure you have it on first and then pull your batteries out. So when you first have this, uh, getting the setup, make sure you put regular batteries and then you put the Wiimote rechargeable one. So then it'll stay on. That's an unfortunate thing, but yeah, gotta live with that. And so, if you want this to work, uh, say with like the Skyward Sword, Zelda, or some of the newer games that came out, you're gonna have to get a Wii Motion Plus. It's a little attachment that goes at the bottom of this Wiimote and you're gonna wanna get a sleeve. I chose this clear sleeve so then you could see you know all this light feature real easy and I'll show you how it works out because the black one I feel it's not gonna bleed through or show like you might want it to and then I'll connect it down here and then put it in the lock position and there you go now it has Wii Motion Plus and it'll work with Skyward Sword or whatever other game that needs and requires a Wii Motion Plus to it and yeah you can see with this clear clear one you can see all the lights bleeding through all this area if it was the regular black one it It'll probably bleed through, but it just won't look right. At least to me. You can see right here, you can see all the lines just going, shooting through. And then, if you're wondering, the Wii Motion Plus doesn't have a connector for your nunchuck. So I'll connect this nunchuck here on the bottom here. And there you go. You're ready to play. And I'll just sh prove to you that it is in fact working. Oh. And yeah, it's working with my Wii just fine. You could hear it. You could probably hear it rumbling every time I hit stuff. I turn the volume down so I won't get a copyright little thing from Nintendo and you could see the little hand turning as I'm turning because I don't think the Wii U works without uh, if the Wiimote doesn't have Motion Plus I don't think it'll work at all on the uh, Wii U so yeah so yeah, that's the the um, the PDP Tron Collector's Edition Wii Uh It's a great controller. I it worked well for Skyward Sword. I played it all the way through just fine, no problems. Light with the lights on, worked great. Works great with the rechargeable battery pack from Nintendo and yeah and you could put this oh I forgot you could put this uh, this uh, regular strap on it if you want to as well so yeah it runs around I think it ran around fifty dollars when it first came out and I think I paid sixty for this with shipping so but I got it a few years later, so that's why it came out a little, a little bit more. But it's fine with me. I think this is one of the nicest Wiimotes that have come out for the console. It, I just never seen anything shine this bright 
in this grate with the blue lights. I I don't get as many hours out of it because of the lights, because they shine sh so bright. Um, I think uh, with this battery pack, I get maybe four or five hours at most with the lights on. If you turn it off, I'm sure you'll get um, maybe maybe 50% to 75 75% more battery life with the lights off. So you're looking at about uh, yeah maybe 10 12 hours or so with the lights off, uh, and and maybe some power is being drained from the Wii Motion Plus here. Because I noticed my Skyward Sword uh, Edition Wiimote does get around maybe 14 hours out of it before I need to charge it again. So it, it does pretty well. I think it does fine. Because I don't, I don't play uh, any longer than maybe 4 hours uh, a day anyway on a s certain game. Just can't do it as long as I used to but yeah it's a great controller I do recommend it if you're looking for something like this it does the job and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll and I'll see you later bye bye